Hey everybody, it's Matt, Serena Hagen Homestead, out here with the chickens today. Just got them fed, got their little coop moved. Gonna, not really an update, just a short one. Doing a whole bunch of little things. Went to the big box store and got some non-pressure treated 4x4s and some pressure treated fence pickets. Gonna be doing a few projects in the on the lathe with them. Well, the fence pickets I'm not, but the rest of it we are. But my friend and old paramedic partner, John, we're going to be taking care of it. And we might actually put up another YouTube page just for those projects. Anyway, here's this quick video of the chickens and them doing their thing. Whenever I move them, I put them on the new grass. And I add a little bit of their feed. I spread some up underneath their roosting area up there. And then you see some on the bar. They'll scratch through, they'll pack it, they'll get. A little bit of everything, both the feed and the bugs and grass. And honestly, that gray young lady there, with her comb being so big on her head, she's looking almost like a rooster. Because as you can see, Finnegan, or excuse me, Foghorn. He has a big old comb on his head. All the others have smaller ones. And right now, these girls aren't laying yet. But my other girls have slowed down quite a bit. I try to keep these girls on fresh grass as often as I can. And to give you an idea of how much or how fast they'll go over a small section of grass. This area from, let me get my finger in there. Basically, all this area here, that's a three and a half by seven and a half foot area. And that was yesterday. This section was the day before. That section was the day before that. I'm moving them quicker. So they're eating the grass and moving on. I'm trying to keep it as a horizontal deal. But you can see the line coming up. And in a week, the grass is fresh. So if I leave them on an area too long, You'll get what what's, what's called a heavy manure load, which would be like these areas here. I left them, I think on that one, three days, because it was just pouring the rain. I'd, every time I came out here, it was just something different. And then that area was, I think, two days. This one was one. But you can see in this section how it comes back fairly quickly. But I can move it every day for probably another four or five days, week, two weeks. I think tomorrow I'm going to pull it sideways to there and then slowly go up this section. And then when I get up there, I don't want to get up close to this coop because that's just too close. But then I'm going to go back on the other side of there and bring it back around. But these ladies, they will go after 
any feed I put out extremely quickly. You want to say hi? As you can see what little bit of feed was on that roost bar, they've already eaten. I'm going through all that to get those little bit of feed. Let's see if we can get her to come up here on the on the bar. I don't know why but the slate gray ones they will jump and fly away as soon as I get close to them all the others are hanging in foghorn he's always been kind of afraid of me I like dropping some of the feed down in there and they'll go after it and they'll scratch and they'll peck and they'll do their thing. At least these are good and healthy. This past week we lost one of our back astralorp chickens. I found it just dead in the run, didn't have any damage to it, just dead in the run. Anyway, I'm feeding these girls a, uh, it's a movie cup. Oh, y'all know what movie it's from just by the picture, but it's roughly a 32 ounce cup and could to hold roughly two pounds by weight of food and each of these birds are to get about two to four ounces of, of food a day and this is the egg layer food just I keep it simple for all my birds ducks chickens back when I had turkeys even him too but thank you for watching like share subscribe I'm going to try a new video editor and we'll go from there y'all take care God bless have fun